It is officially spring and this is what my life has been looking like recently. This is your sign to get into the spring vibes. spring reset guide in this video i'm going to be getting my life together resetting for the new season getting a fresh start doing the spring cleaning and just come out of hibernation because in the winter when the days are ending early i just don't feel like myself as much i am so ready for the spring vibes i even have my little tulips here that i picked right from the ground as you guys saw at the beginning of the video i made a little checklist of things i want to do to help me refresh my energy the first most important step before for anything in order to reset my life is taking a moment to declutter my space. when you're trying to reset your life is having a journaling session. I'm currently at my desk and I have my little setup going. I put up a calendar whiteboard so that I could start planning for the month ahead. This is a good way to make sure I have my priorities straight. For my journal, I like to use this as a way to check in with myself to see how I'm feeling, how I want to feel. I always like to make my own prompts. I like to write down my current habits that I want to keep up with. I'll write down what is my current mindset like on my hobbies. I then did another page for a weekly recap where I write down my highlights for every day. I have a sticky note that says things that made me happy this week. Usually I would write down a habit tracker, which I would also recommend doing to help keep yourself accountable for any habits that you may want to keep up with. But yeah, this is how it turned out. It's super cute. The next thing on my agenda is getting a workout in. Cause baby love To my everything shower. I already have my robe on. I'm gonna be lighting some candles. This is like a brand new candle. So the first thing I always get into is my hair care. As you guys know, I am a cat mom. So that just means that I have cat mom duties. I thought I'd show you guys in this video everything I do for my cat. So basically my cat mom routine. First thing I need to take care of is his litter box. And I'm super grateful because recently I got sent this pet kit Hero Max litter box. It's basically this self-cleaning litter box, which is just gonna make my life 10 times easier. Here she is. I am gonna be filling it up with litter. This is my favorite litter to use for my cat, it's called Pretty Litter. There's your toe beans. No. No. My friend Kayla ended up coming over and she helped me put together this cat tree that I got for Mr. Leo and we thought this would be a cute, quick, fun little activity and that didn't end up being the case here. We somehow turned into full-on construction workers and it took us the whole night to build this thing but we were determined and it turned out really cute. Mr. Kitty now has a new home. <laughs> Anyways, the next morning I had an early 9am nail appointment. nails turned out they're like the perfect spring nails starting off the morning with an energy drink my grandma's actually gonna be visiting me this morning and helping me out a little bit around the apartment we're just gonna hang out maybe go thrifting i've been getting addicted to thrifting again and she's actually the one that introduced me to thrifting when i was little so it's always fun getting to go with her she's the reason i'm a pro thrifter also i'm obsessed with these prime drinks these are great for when you need an energy boost
favorite activities to partake in in the spring is reconnecting with nature, which I highly recommend you do. If you feel like you're ever going crazy, you probably just need to touch some grass, which I'm actually gonna go do today. Me and my friend Emily, we decided that we needed to reconnect with nature this spring season. So we're gonna be going to a cute little garden together today. my balcony before I came home I stopped by a little plant nursery I saw a lady opened up a shop near me and I kind of saw it as a sign to go back into my plant mom era plant haul so these are my four new babies she was telling me this one was for good fortune I had also picked up this one the leaves on this one are so pretty then I got this slightly bigger one. This one is a Peperomia raindrop. It's slightly bigger than the other ones. Looking at all of these plants makes me so happy because in my last apartment, I ended up having to get rid of my big plants. I did bring a lot of my old pods from my last apartment and I was going to attempt to repot them. And I'm hoping I'll go thrifting soon to pick up some cuter ones. I also have my little water can here. I do need to water them. I love how my cat's just always watching me. This plant is so cute. It's literally growing little baby ones on the inside. <gasps> it's raining. This is my first time seeing it rain. This was the day that I finally got my bed delivery. Here is some footage from that morning. The delivery guys brought it in for me and set it up for me. My bed is here now! So, little apartment update. I talked about how excited I was that I was going to be getting a new bed soon. You guys, I've had this bed frame on my Pinterest board for the longest time ever. I wanted to buy it so badly for my last apartment, but it was just too big. It was not going to fit. The delivery for this bed is supposed to take almost like five months. And surprisingly, it came early. I got it in three months. It's so adorable. I did recently purchase a new comforter. This is just a plain pink one. Let's set up my new bed together. I went to go check my mailbox and I have a bunch of packages that I've been getting recently because I've been shopping for some spring and summer essentials. And I wanted to show you guys a haul. First, we have some clothing purchases. Look at how cute this top is. I bought this off of a small business on Instagram and I always love supporting those because they always have the cutest stuff. And this girl like hand makes these. Another small business purchase. I was so excited about this. It's like a mega pouch for my heat tools. And as you guys know, I'm obsessed with makeup pouches with the cute prints on it. And this one has some little bears and bows on it. It's such an essential for when I travel this summer. Of course, I got a couple of bikinis. This first one is from Frankie's Bikinis. Look at the print on this. Every time I go on their website, they just end up taking all of my money. I also got this crochet one and it comes with this matching skirt. Next, I was super excited about this purchase. A new film camera for the spring and summer. I get so excited about cameras. I love trying new ones out. I'm gonna be taking this with me everywhere. From another Instagram shop, I had bought this bikini. It's like a handmade patchwork type of bikini. But look at how adorable. I don't remember buying this. This is supposed to be a thingy that you stick onto your phone and it's supposed to grip onto the wall. <laughs> My next essential has to be cute workout clothes. Thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video and for sending me some of the cutest workout clothes. Whenever I need motivation to get myself to to go to the gym. All I have to do is put on some cute workout clothes. This white halter neck sports bra is one of my current faves. I had paired it with these white workout shorts, which are the comfiest thing ever. I like to also just use these around the house. When I'm working out, feeling comfortable is my top priority, which is why this outfit is perfect. Gymshark shorts are so good. These ones in particular have these pockets on the side, which is so convenient for phone addicts like me. One of my recent obsessions has been my Gymshark water bottle. It keeps track of how much water 
water you've been drinking and so it's super motivating carrying this around makes me want to drink more water i am obsessed with this jacket it is the perfect gym jacket the fit the fabric and style of this is so good at the bottom it even has these adjustable straps and lastly if you've been looking for the perfect gym bag this is it this is the gymsharks mini gym bag the cutest thing ever i've taken this to the gym a couple times now and she is that girl now if you guys want to shop any of my gymshark essentials i will have a link in my description you guys can actually use my code adela for a discount off your gymshark purchase next on my agenda i'm gonna be heading out to a little garden party that i got invited to this is such a cute activity that i highly recommend doing i now want to host a little spring garden party of my own <laughs> Ending my night with a cheesecake. I thought that we should have a little update moment. Catch you guys up on what my life has been like because I feel like my videos recently have been mainly focused on doing all these makeovers and doing a whole bunch of organizing and cleaning. And I haven't actually sat down and updated you guys with what's going on in my life and like what it's been like living alone in my new apartment. Now that it's been two plus years being completely on my own, I feel like I've matured a lot and I was just forced to become super independent. And it could get overwhelming sometimes because I've been doing everything completely by myself that sometimes scares me because sometimes I wish I had somebody guiding me or somehow helping or giving me advice along the way but I've just been figuring out everything on my own and I don't know I just feel like even my priorities are different now I know I've never really shown you guys a lot of behind the scenes but around a year or two ago when I kind of first was doing my YouTube channel my mindset was always just work 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 and I never really allowed myself to enjoy my life I would always tell myself that fun would come later and now i kind of want myself to be the opposite and i want myself to prioritize living life a little bit more and going out and just doing things and you guys are not going to believe it i actually booked a trip next week to go to costa rica i'm determined this year to travel more and push myself out of my comfort zone so i'll be telling you guys more about that next week once i'm there of course i'll be vlogging the whole thing i was actually going to dedicate tonight to begin packing mm -hmm. 